Hello traders, I'm Fats Pip Collector here. Today is Friday, July 5th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the pound yen, I still think so extremely clear on the monthly that that's an A, this is three waves down for a B, and this is like a one, two, three of wave C. I still don't even see that the wave three is over. I think it needs to still go up more. Eventually, it's going to have to make a big pull back for a wave four and a wave five but i still don't even see that the wave three is over yet so going down to the weekly time frame we are getting closer to a fibonacci extension level which is 100 percent right around the 209 probably 209.5 area but 209.4 area that is my next area of resistance where we possibly may or may not end a wave three trend so taking it down to the daily time frame, I got some smaller Fibonacci extension levels on here, which is the extension of the last trend projected out the last correction. If this really is a wave one, a wave two, and we're currently in a wave three, this is actually quite a bit too small to be a complete wave three. I still think we need to continue to look for longs. I still think it's going to eventually look like this to finish a wave three, make a wave four, and probably eventually make a wave five. So definitely still looking for longs on sort of time frames. Going down to the four hour time frame, I'm definitely looking for three way pullbacks. One, two, three ways down. I'm looking for Fibonacci bounces. I'm looking for engulfing moves to the upside for entries to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. So going down to the one hour time frame, you have to remember that the trend is your friend, especially when you're talking about the yen pairs. I would do nothing but continue to look for one, two, three ways down to go long. One, two, three ways down, go long. One, two, three ways down, go long. We already got a little bit of a three way pattern. One, two, three, four five of wave a possibly one two three up wave b this could already have completed a wave c or maybe it's going to make a bigger crutch i mean it could stretch out and look something like that it'd still be an abc but either way i'm definitely looking for longs if this little push down we get makes a higher low and then it goes up and breaks stretch it or if it just continues to make a nice engulfing moves to the upside i would definitely consider this a very likely end of an abc we got three waves down we got a fibonacci bounce I do see it possible that it goes down and makes a bigger crutchin, but just like I've been saying for months, buying every single dip, especially three wave pullback dips, is an amazing strategy and most likely will continue to be an amazing strategy. Our next Fibonacci extension level is way up there at the 100% Fibonacci extension, which is right around the 207.4 area. So for now, I am definitely, definitely still bullish and definitely still looking for longs at the end of three wave pullbacks. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups and my daily live Zoom meetings. As always, thank you and happy trading.